Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to SSH into your iPod via a computer. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to um, SSH, well not really SSH, but how to do the exact same thing only um, from your iPod using iFile. And this one is just basically uh, for the computer, um, and you need a Wi-Fi connection for this. Just note that, you need to be jailbroken. And this tutorial is only for Windows, no Mac users for this one. Um, I might do a tutorial for Mac users also, but this one is just strictly Windows. So, first thing you want to do, open up Cydia, hit the search button, and you want to search for OpenSSH. Click on that, and in the upper right hand corner, hit install, and then confirm, and head back into search, and search for toggle SSH. Toggle SSH is two words, and... Um, OpenSSH was one. And just hit the search. And it's from Big Boss. You won't have to add any sources for this because the first one was from the actual city repository. And this one's from Big Boss. So, yeah, you don't need to add any sources. In the upper right hand corner, hit install. And then confirm. And I think it might ask you to respring, but I'm not sure about that. Whatever happens, just make sure you go back to your springboard. And you should have one new application and that should look like this. It should be like a little puffer fish with a briefcase and some sunglasses. There's no application for OpenSSH, just for Toggle SSH. Toggle SSH is self-explanatory. It just toggles on and off the SSH. Most of the times, you don't even have to use this application, but just hit Enable for the time being, and then you can exit out of that. The next step of the tutorial is you need to go onto your computer, open up your web browser, and search for WinSCP in Google or any preferred search um, uh, engine. And the first one should be from WinSCP.net, or just go there. Uh, all links will be in the description. Click on that one, free SFTP, and FTP and SCP client for Windows. CyberDuck is for Mac, and like I said, I might do a tutorial for CyberDuck. And the first one, you just want to click on WinSCP 4.2.7, download scroll down you want to click on the installation package and it'll take you to sourceforge.net which is a great site that hosts a lot of open source applications click save file I'm not going to do that for the time being head into your downloads folder or wherever your downloads are saved to um, double click on that it'll open up go through the install process and when that's all done you should now have this application or icon and this icon should look like a lock with two arrows heading in opposite directions and this is basically just like iFile so I'm going to exit out of this for now and terminate the session because I'm going to show you guys how to set this up so click on the application it'll open up and um, as you can see here I already did one test because um, I've done this video <laughs> once already uh, just a little bit unprepared and um, as you can see it says home I'm going to show you how to add a new connection so, all you want to do is just click on the new button, and for your host name, what you want to do is go to your iPod, head on into settings, and click on your Wi-Fi network, click on the little blue arrow next to the Wi-Fi that you are connected to, and your IP address is the one that you would want to put in, which is 10.0.1.4 for me, it is different for everyone. Um, but yeah, you just want to put that right into here. And that will be your host name, your username will be root, and the default password is alpine. And this is what you should put in root and alpine. And then just click login, or you can save it. So you want to save it, I'm just going to save it as this, not going to change the name. Click on this, click login, and it'll say searching for host, connecting to host. And here's when you want to put in your ask password, alpine. For me, it's not going to work because I have a custom password set for all of you who have used Rock and it asks you to change your password. This is what your password will be. And you'll be granted access for this. And um, as you can see, I have an old version here. I still need to download the new one. And it works exactly like iFile. Go check out my old iFile video um, for how to use it. Everything you can do in iFile, you can do in here. You even have mobile, you have, even have terminal here. Open up terminal. Click OK, put in your password. If you saw my Iconoclasm kind of rant, I use terminal for this, and you enter commands just like you would with mobile terminal 
on um, your iPod Touch or in Terminal for a Mac. So you get the gist here. Uh, you double click on this two dots to go back a directory and I'm just gonna keep on going back and that's as far back as you can go um, the last directory is backslash and let's just go into var and stash and here's where all of your um, stuff a lot of your jailbroken stuff is stored uh, here's where all your themes are obviously in the themes folder and you can go in here edit around themes like I said check out my old iFile video so that you um, can see how to navigate through this. You'll be able to do everything that I showed you in iFile in WinSCP. And um, if you would like to have the same like sort of access uh, to SSH into your iPod without a Wi-Fi connection, just by a uh, via USB connection to your computer, check out iFunbox. There's tutorials on YouTube and on the internet showing you how to use iFunbox if WinSCP is not right for you. This has been I Touch Stuff here, guys. Hope you like this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.